guys, I'm Kate Tumanova and you are watching Life, Love and Pop Culture. Hi, how are you? Hi, I'm doing great. How are you? I'm good. So let's talk about your new film, American Exorcism. Tell me a little bit about it. I think this movie is different because dramatically it has different storylines and Trip Weathers, who wrote it and directed it, he had a very clear vision on how he wants the love story to be there, how he wants to show the father and daughter relationships, how he wants to show the teenager having all those rebellious thoughts that I get to play and have so much fun with my character. I play the lead um, character, uh, her name is Caroline, and on top of being a teenager, she's possessed. So um, it's a lot of fun, and I think this, uh, yeah, this movie is definitely not your usual typical exorcism movie because it has so many different storylines. So now you guys experience some crazy stuff on set, so tell me a little bit about this. So, you know, just starting a movie like that, you don't think that, you don't think much of that. Yeah, it's an exorcism, it's a scary film, we're shooting at night, no big deal. But then something happens once, and then twice, and then like five times to to all of us so it's hard to ignore it and because we're playing here with something that's supernatural spiritual whatever you want to call it it's the energy that we're trying to wake up and make it look real so things were going missing and just random wardrobe you know shoes you just put them there and you turn around and they're not there anymore and uh, you can't help but think is it is it me being tired shooting for 14 hours yeah. or is it Yamora, which is the name of the demon, um, uh, you know, with us here. Oh my Jeez. god, I'd be so scared <laughs> to be on set. How did you guys get through that though? Uh, we, just together, teamwork, you know, I was surrounded by so many great people and you kind of try to laugh it off and uh, after a year, it's been a year since we shot it, now I just have the great memories of so much fun on set and uh, there was some creepy stuff happening, but it's a creepy movie, so it is. I was too scared to finish watching it. <laughs> really? I was terrified. I was like, oh god, I'm not into scary movies, so I was just like, oh god, I can't. Okay, well, like we can watch it next time together. I'd be funny, I kind of want to watch it. <laughs> The no, I totally understand. Honestly, when I first saw the possession scene myself and the producer showed me just that scene, I started watching it and then by the end I was just like holding my hands to my chest like this and I was just watching it as if it was someone else, not myself, because it's so intense and I think uh, with the special effects and the darker colors and makeup, of course, it makes it scary. Well, I'm glad you got scared because then we did a gr great job. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> okay, let's go in a little lighter note. So you come from a talented family. Your mother's an accomplished singer and poet. So how did she kind of influence you to get into the industry? That was my inspiration from the get-go, I think. Now, looking back uh, at my younger um, years, uh, living in such an artistic family and always having artists around us, and she would be shooting music videos and having actors and writers at home, and they were just so um, interesting to watch, and, and they didn't, didn't look like they did much, you know, and I was like, oh, that's great, I can just be an actress, sit around and talk about art all day, but little did I know, it's actually a very tough job, and you, yeah, yeah with this one, we went over time pretty much every night, mm -hmm. but it, it, that's what it takes to, you know, make a project that you're passionate about and proud of in, in the end. Did she give you any advice? Uh, she kind of always been supportive uh, in a way that, and just tr trustworthy of my decisions, mm -hmm. so, um, she, we talk all the time, we talk every day, so we're constantly in conversations about what's going on in my life and uh, miss her a lot, uh, but she was just scared to begin with, she's, as soon as she heard the title a year ago, she was yeah. like, I'm not watching that movie, that's too much. It's scary. It's scary <laughs> to see your daughter doing stuff like that, it's, of course, it's terrifying, <laughs> but um, she, they're supportive, they're the best parents, best friends, and uh, she was just here visiting. So yeah, I cannot help uh, thank them enough for helping me just uh, just by being best friends. You've had an amazing career. 15 years is a long time and you're so young still. Thank so you. So congratulations on that. But um, when people think of you, what do you want them to remember you for? 
I, I think that people remember how much fun I am and how hard working I am and just I like I like people, you know, and I trust in communication and I think it's really important for us to with all the technologies and crazy things that are going in life now, remember to just be able to sit down and talk and engage in real life conversations with real life people and I am very grateful to have those friends so uh, I want to be remembered by that, by the people who I had in my life who are great. If you enjoyed my interview, subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to look out for new videos every Wednesday.